Right, this is a model that I made a very, very, very long time ago. Um, it was actually a nerves patch model. Uh, but now it's a polygonal model in this iteration, and I've also done a high-res sculpt for him, and he's, he's fully textured and things like that. Normally I play with him when I'm playing with some new idea, and I just use him all the time to test it on. But anyway, what I want to discuss and uh, have a look at really quickly is UV unwrapping. Uh, now if I were to break the visual aspect of a model up, it would be something like 20% or even 15% uh, goes to how the model is, uh, you know, how good it looks as a grey model, which is what we're looking at at the moment, and then maybe uh, 30 or 35 percent uh, will add to the aesthetic nature of it or the visual nature of it um, from textures, and then uh, maybe a little bit higher than that, and then maybe 40 or 50 percent will be lighting, and that's that's the visual makeup if I break it down in my own head. That might be a little bit idealistic, but um, so texturing is very, very important. And the idea about UV unwrapping is we want to be able to paint a texture very easily, and we, we do it in our UV texture editor. And at the moment, the UVs for this thing are not very paintable. So the idea is we take this guy, we cut him up, and we lay him out on the ground flat, just like we were, we were uh, laying out cloth. However, we've got to get the least amount of distortion possible, which is not very easy on anything other than a tablecloth or a sheet of paper. We're going to have to deal with distortion because this is not a flat shape. It's not primitive, uh, you know, one of Maya's primitive objects either, which which it's easy to generate mapping for. So I just want to have a look at um, just texture, uh, just unwrapping one part of him. Uh, really quickly, and I think I shall rip off his head. So, all I'm doing is I've just split the vertices and I'm going to go and separate them. So, if I were to double click here in 2008 and then convert to vertices, then go, uh, what is it? Mesh, edit mesh, sorry, and separate. Where's separate? Well, okay, I'll just go split vertex there then. Um, and then separate. So all I'm going to have a look at is unwrapping this. Now, something that's important to me is how am I going to unwrap it? What's going to maintain the length? Well, for me, this center edge here, I want as accurate as possible. Then I'm going to get Maya to lay out the rest of it. Now, there are tools online that would do this for me. And again, what I'm wanting, uh, but I'm just going to use Maya tools, by the way. But what I want is to unwrap this like tablecloth. Now, a quick, easy way for me to explain this is if I go into Hypershade, and just create a new material with a checker texture, and plug that into color, then go get that and assign it. Um, I'm actually wanting this to be... Uh, to be nice and square, and each one of these squares actually look like a square no matter where it is, within reason. I'm not always going to get that, but within reason. So what I'll do really quickly is just give myself, all I'm doing now, by the way, is deleting history. So I don't have that many nodes in this uh, in this scene, uh, in this uh, shader network, and I'll just take up the repetitions to something like 10, 10. So I've got nice little squares. But we can see on the top that's not squared. That's because I did a projection from the side. But this projection from the side, if I look in the UV texture editor, and I'll just dim uh, the checker. If I look in the UV texture editor, I've actually got quite a nice uh, quite a nice edge that represents the same space in 2D as it does in 3D. And that's this center one. So what I'm going to do is, now that I've selected this center edge here, I'm going to convert to UVs and I'm going to grab it and move it out here to play with. Uh, I'll, the idea here is I'm going to try and make it as level as possible, which means I'm going to be uh, in UV mode, I'm going to be rotating it. Now I'm just moving, uh, I'm pressing insert to go into pivot mode. Uh, just so that I can move these and this is going to be really rough and quick because it needs to be under 10 minutes so I better speed my ass up a little bit 
And again, just over here, move those around. In fact, I'll do these by hand because I'm really running out of time now. So, here we go. In fact, let's just rotate those around and place them there like so. Now, the idea behind this is I go get all these UVs and I make them flat. And in fact, we'll rotate them as well. Then I can go into unwrap, uh, which is somewhere, unfold, sorry, which is near enough the same thing. And I'll just have, by the way, this, uh, this really, both of these settings are dependent on what your model is. And it's not to say there's correct or incorrect, uh, incorrect settings for these. I'm going to say pin selected because I do not want it to alter these, but I want it to do everything else. And the un unfold constraints I'm just going to leave as none. It can do what the hell it wants. Um, I can bias it towards face area or edge length, uh, which will produce different results. But again, when I move this away, I'm just going to press apply and see what it does with these UV selected and with these settings. So, apply. By the way, don't be afraid if it's taking a while. My thing is taking a while, and it's uh, it's seriously using my machine to do it as well. So, uh, oh, there we go. Right, we see that it did something. Uh, maybe not what we wanted. So if I just go back uh, and we'll try, we'll try a few different settings. We'll say uh, pin UVs and we'll bias it towards a global solver and edge length uh, and this time maybe we will say unwrap it horizontally because unfortunately when Maya came to work it out some of the edges were so long it decided to fold them round on each other and make it a little bit uh, a little bit uh, soft on the unwrap now so I'm I'm actually saying hey try and keep edge length rather than face area which is which should produce a better result so apply and again it's going to take a while don't be afraid of this and we kind of have an okay result ish uh, got a few problems here where it bows out uh, but all in all I'm not too displeased with that now if we go back over here we can see that we've got a nice kind of uh, distribution of these squares. We are getting some uh, distortion but like I say uh, it's it's going to be very hard for us not to get distortion um, in an object that uh, doesn't really uh, doesn't really unwrap like a tablecloth very well. Now personally I wouldn't be happy with this. I'd go back play around and tweak but since I'm up to about eight minutes YouTube wouldn't allow me to upload this if I went any further. Um, but yeah, there we go.